<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Depraved Slash here, and we are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. Yes, we are. So. So. Continuing down our Indian experience. Yes. Indian a, artist experience. A lot of people have requested plenty of other Hindi hip-hop artists. Right. One of the most common names to pop up, which I think a lot of them definitely requ or has requested him because he does rap mostly in English. Right. Is Bradhavi. Right. I think that's how it's pronounced. Hopefully. I hope that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> um, I could not find people giving specific songs for Bradhavi. Right. I think maybe one or two said, but his name popped up all over the place. His name was all over the place. It's yeah. just nobody gave, a, not a whole lot of people gave specific songs. Right. Um, one of the songs I did see somebody said was Atma Rama. Okay. I could be mispronouncing that too. I hope not. I, I think you're right. Um, I was going to actually do his newest song because it's only like a month old. Okay. But again, nobody had requested that one. They requested this one. So I was like, all right, we'll, we'll run with this one. All right. This is the request for now. Yeah. And then maybe we'll circle back to his newest song. Right. All right. Um, so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have seen this video or we're going to react to this as you have, as if as you if guys you have. have seen it, if you've not seen it. Please click the link in the description below. Hop on over, watch the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. Let Brada V know that we sent you, and then come on back. And we say that because we are a reaction breakdown channel. We're going to break the bars down. Let me make sure this isn't UMG, by the way. I don't know. We are going to with. try and break the bars down as best we can. We're going to try and break the bars down as best we can. To my understanding, um, he does rap in English. All right. Let's see lyrics if we need them. It's SME, so we should be all right. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. UMG likes to block things. Yeah. Completely. A um, bunch of cock blockers. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we, we say it because we're going to pause to break down bars the best we can. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to slash it up and break it down. This is Brada V with Atma Rama. <coughs> my check, my check. Yeah, the mic all right? Thanks a lot. That's jazzy. Huh. Yo. It's Brother Week. Some Brother V. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. A Dr. Dre song. Okay. I can see that. But he, he did have... Is it the next episode? He did have some of that nice, like, jazzy soul right. type music to his beats. I like it. Uh. Yo, it's Brother Week. Some of you might have heard of me. I talk about money. I talk about rap music. I talk about getting high. But now, I'ma talk about God. Back in the time when I was lacking a dime, my hopeless youth happy slowly get attracted to grind. Then sat in the lines to talk it out with practical minds. Let the folks within me get all my talents combined. Enacted a mime and Latin, I decided to rhyme. Delighted and excited and planning a rap till I'm prime. Started spilling ink on the paper and plan to get time. But the world is by so wild, they got me slapper to find. Never Hold on. Hold on. All right. This dude's flow is amazing. Is so nice. He's right in the pocket. Right in the pocket. And he's a storyteller. <clears throat> so, I mean, back before he was anything, back before he had money. You know, I mean, he's taking us back in the day. How is he? Do not get me wrong. Krishna is really good with double, triple entendres, even when translating from Hindi to English. Right. Um, in a way, definitely has the more modern sound in terms of very party-ish. Yeah, using some auto-tune, that kind of thing, yeah. But this guy's flow, especially if this is something that came out like six, seven years ago. I think it said eight. I could have been mistaken, though. Like, he should have been, like... I I, I feel like I should know who this is, and I don't. Right. I've heard his name bandied around. And honestly, I think he is considered one of the... the, the first... Well, I'm saying first Hindi rap. 
Right. But I'm talking about just in general. Like, why isn't he more just, like, a mainstream name, period? Right. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. Spilling ink on the paper and plan to get time. But the world is by so wild, they got me slapper to find. Never got a chance, they never let me spit on the mic. Only because they come from a land where people ain't white. Day and night, they keep uh -huh. And oh. mad props. You're wearing baggy clothes. That is hip hop, ladies and gentlemen. He's not wearing skinny jeans. It's not skinny like, jeans. Although, this. you know, he is talking about being in England and they wouldn't let him out of mic because he came from a land where the people aren't white. Yep. Honestly, that's sad. That is Very. sad. Let me spit on the mic. Only because I come from a land where people ain't white. Day and night, I keep flowing, completing all my demo tracks. Inspired being denied the right by any demo. Sing, sing. So he oh. raps in English, but his chorus is it's sung in Hindi. In Hindi it's and it's beautiful. Fucking gorgeous. He's he's got the the um, traditional Hindi flow, like the and it is that call to God, like the Muslim call to God type sound um, that monks achieve and everything. It's it's so sonically pleasing. Right. So sonically pleasing. Life is an octopus trying to choke you with tentacles. Survive by only those who prove to be sensible. With only two choices, good and the bad. Uh, the hardest part is to be choosing a path. Check this, I could. And he's spitting some real truth right there. He's... But I like how he said that life is like an octopus. I have not heard that particular metaphor before. Neither have I. It's a good one. Choking you with tentacles. I, I, it's a good one, but I hadn't heard that one. Although the Japanese culture would find that very tantalizing. Tantalizing? Tantalizing. <laughs> um, no, so I, I love that he said there's only two choices, the good and the bad. The hardest thing to do is to actually choose a path. Right. Because a lot of people will sit on the fence forever, too. My problem is, and, and this is just a, a deeper feeling within me, I don't believe in good and bad. You think it's subjective? I do. And here's why. I, I, I believe humans are animals. And we have basic instincts. But because of the intelligence level that we have, we've formulated a society that has a standard set of rules on what people think are good and are bad. However, each but culture... But di different cultures, different societies think differently of different things. Prime example. As humans in a structured society, we're raised to believe that eating people is wrong but Cannibalism. there are but there are still cult you know cultures out there and tribes and some societies that not only do they eat people and feel that it's right it's almost felt as an honor to have been eaten by well a lot of times uh, you know so okay we hear stories about horrific cannibalism in terms of like warfare or you know venture into this place <clears throat> where they'll eat you but right. actually more traditionally speaking they will eat their own elders their own deceased right. as a way to keep their spirit through the generations to keep them with them right. and and that is the more traditional approach and then of course there are the warriors and again like you said, it is considered an honor even if you're on opposing sides because it is a sign of, like, they are taking that warrior's strength within them. So it's actually a respect to the fallen warrior even though it's from another tribe. It's, it's not right. done out of, like, degradation or disdain. Right. So, yeah, you're, you are correct. Again, you know, there are um, 
plenty of cultures like the the Hindi culture of of cows being sacred. Right. Like you know, there's that's a more simplistic um, kind of example. Like here in America, it's grass fed beef. Like that's what's on the yeah, menu. We eat them. Yeah. So they're not they're not sacred here. So again, yeah, you, you're correct. It's it's very subjective, dependent on culture, region, right, society, and we are. I mean, I guess you're talking about, but I, I, you know, he said there's there's two choices, and I feel like there's maybe two choices, but there's a third option, which is the person who consistently sits on the fence, right, never wants to make the choice either way, and he's saying, yeah, you need to choose your path, but some people don't and also with good and bad in a more general structured sense there's always a gray area too right because some good things are bad but at the same time some bad things are good or sometimes the way to get to the good things is by choosing a gray option yeah like for instance murder we see as bad but at the same time, if you're defending yourself, you have to do bad to, to protect be, your life. To protect yeah. your life, which is a good thing. And then, and then you're seen as still the the victim turned warrior, basically right. survivor, because you know, or even as a societal punishment. You know, right. we we have mostly banned execution at this point, but then really is the punishment enough if you're talking about a serial killer for right. example i mean we're just going with extremes here i do understand what he's saying though right. and i i like that he started off the whole thing saying yeah normally this is what i sing about but for this one i'm actually going to go a little bit deeper for when i actually relied on talking to god because it was a, a struggle right yeah two choices good and the bad uh the hardest part is to be choosing a path check this i could have got myself in dealing with drugs or maybe pop a week of person that were chilling with thugs maybe blow up my father's money spending on clothes faking attitude for winning all them feminine woes uh, <laughs> one point of time i got up top and foolish lies was juvenile thought it was cool to get in the brutal fights i even had the thrilling urge to kill the next second the whole feeling reversed to kill i was offered the gun that's when i like I that to guilt. had the urge to kill then it reversed to guilt yeah you're you are correct i think i said that right yes you did okay. um but i i yeah and he's like hey yo i could have gone down the path with you know the drugs and the fights and the guns and like spending my my parents money on clothing and made that my goal in life hanging out with the thugs but that would have gotten him in serious trouble because obviously he had the urge to kill. Now, Especially luckily, if he was in England. That would have not been a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Luckily, his conscience kicked in. Right. And he got hit with guilt. Which isn't necessarily, like, guilt is not necessarily a good thing. No. But, yeah. Urge to kill the next second, the whole feeling reversed to guilt. I was offered the gun, that's when I dropped it for a mic. Took rap as a career and I thought that this was right. I closed my eyes and give my thanks to God. Peace in my hand, I'm singing this song and it goes like... Keep me going this. I know I'm artistic. The levels extreme. My haters agree I'm God gifted. But they don't mean <laughs> like that. I liked before the hook hit that he was talking about peace in his hand because he was talking to God, but he had just talked about trading the gun in for a mic and a gun is a piece in your hand. But then I think he said peace in my head though. In your head? Okay. But still it went from gun straight to peace. Right. So, nice. Ain't going this, I know I'm artistic, the levels extreme, my haters agree I'm God gifted. But they don't mean to lay around like clinical bait. When it's mayhem in my head, it's a subliminal rate. Cyclic monotony for me is cursed as death. I'm only halfway through the face between birth and death. One day, I wish to be like Eminem or Tupac and have a million people chanting, Brother we you rock. And maybe wish to have a girl like Emma Watson or even accept the Grammy on stage while mama's watching. But till then, I'm 
him talking about his dreams there. And the I like shout that. Of Tupac he's, like, and it, and he, he's like, one day I want people to look up to me like Tupac, yeah. and it'd be great, and to be able to be on stage with a Grammy while my mom's, mom's watching. Mom's watching. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, he said even my haters will say that I'm artistic, that I'm I'm gifted with this. I'm glad you said that because my mind joked and thought something completely yeah, different. Yeah, I know. I'll keep that one to myself. Yeah, but. I know. I heard that one too. But yeah, no, I I like how he's talking about his his path here. Right. His evolution as an artist. And as a person. And where he'd like to go in the future. What his dreams and hopes are. Right. On stage but mama's watching. But till then, I must see days when the weather be rough. I better be tough. Brother, we gon' never give up. No, I'ma close my eyes and talk to God. Peace in my head. I'm singing this song and it goes like... And I love that too. How, uh, hold on, what did he say? Bro, I better be tough. Brother, we gon' never... Yeah, he said, I better be tough. Mm -hmm. Because the one thing you have to be, if you're going to be in any form of possible fame... Right, you've got to have a tough skin. you got to have tough skin, yeah. whether it's a musical artist. Honestly, Even us, and, you know, and, there's... An artist of any kind, whether it's music, drawings poetry, and things, poetry, painting, acting, yeah. like... Singing. You, video game designer. Right. Like, any form of art. Your creativity is out there for the world to view. And people are going to criticize it. Right. And some people... Let's face it. A lot, pe a lot of people are not near as nice as others. A lot of people are assholes. That's what he was trying to say. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that's 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 on the major scale. If you're looking at the minor scale, things like what we do. Yeah. Um, that's what I was gonna say. Is even sitting sitting pretty where I think we are at five thousand subscribers, which is amazing to me. We still get a lot. We get of a dicks. fair amount of yeah yeah yeah. You know, <laughs> but honestly, it's it's just one of those things. And you know, even if you're not doing it on social media or a widespread platform, like think about like even high school, like making friends. You had to put yourself out there, and that's scary because a fair amount of people are dicks about it. So you, you've got to develop and, a tough skin to deal with it on a broader scale. It, it even goes as far as not even just finding friends, finding relationships. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at all the people swiping left and doing Match.com. And, like, there is so much roasting that goes on, like, screenshots, social media, everything, of what could somewhat be considered, like, very personal information. I mean, it depends. Some people are just again, dicks in the DMs, and therefore that's why they're getting roasted. But on the other hand, like, some situations arise that it's like, yeah, that was probably something that didn't need to be spread around. Right. You know? But that's uh, that's how people have always been. They're jerks. So you do have to have a tough skin, and he's also saying that while he knows he's going to struggle and go through rough patches on his way to his dream, it's worth doing. Right to get there he this is what he wants and it gives him completion and the motivation he can't deal with monotony and so on but also his talks with god are what help him to stay focused and sane and and so on and so forth i i, I really like how this whole thing has been formatted in the storytelling that he's done oh yeah song and it goes like definitely like it stands out it's a very different beat i like it right uh but yeah that was that was incredible i enjoyed it dope song i i actually feel like so here's the thing i definitely want to see how much he's changed if mm -hmm. at all right. or evolved lyrically 
Right. Um, I love, love, love the old school sound. Right. Um, I love the old school like beat flow. sound, his yeah. old school flow. But I mean, you do kind of got to change with the times to keep people interested. So I'm interested to see what, if anything, he has changed about himself. What the evolution has been musically. Yeah. Right. And see where he's at today. I think it might be interesting, no matter what is re- requested, to do the most recent right. of his next. So. Which we might do. We'll see what people say, yeah. though. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought he did a fantastic job. Yep. I agree. 100%. Very enjoyable. Especially, I mean, that, that chorus was... Fucking gorgeous. Ah. Uh, so. All right, guys. So, that is going to do it. If you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, <laughs> comment down below. What did you think of Brada V with... Uh, what was it called again? Um... Athma Rama. Rama? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, guys. Also, comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter, if you want a quicker response. And with that being said, we love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Cannot wait to see you depraved people later. Peace. <laughs>